Hi, welcome to Doc Talk. Today we're going to talk about finding a doctor, a good doctor. Now, a lot of people don't look for a doctor until they're sick. And in today's world, um, it is necessary to begin the search for a good doctor now, whether you're sick or not. I know that it's a pain in the behind, but it is going to be very important to establish a relationship with a doctor that you'd like, one who can take care of you and your entire family, because health issues will arise. And it is best to have some type of history with a doctor who knows or who has known you before you got sick or hurt and who knows you you know afterwards so they know that there's a noted difference in health and in the overall you know person now one of the conceptions that people have and and many many people do this and it is a very, very, very poor way of going about finding a doctor, is they get sick and they jump to the yellow pages in the phone book. And then they find the first doctor that comes across their, uh, you know, fingers. They call, they make an appointment, blah 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 now sometimes you can find a good doctor this way but more than not you will not find the kind of doctor that you need in this day and age where your doctor could be your best friend or your worst enemy not an intentional enemy but an enemy nonetheless that will affect your future and your life the reason that people go to doctors is many different reasons for checkups for you know job interviews and requirements that you've got to go have a physical sports um, all all kinds of different things and reasons why people go to the doctor some people go to the doctor out of fear that they've heard about H1N1 on the news and now they have a little sniffle and a cough and they're worried that they've got the avian flu now the best way that I have found to find a good doctor has been from other people. Talking with other people and finding out who they see and the kind of person that the doctor that they see is or who they've seen in the past who they believed was a good doctor that they've had to leave for some reason or another. People are traveling great distances right now to find a good doctor. I'm talking about hundreds of miles that people are traveling to be able to find a good doctor that can do for them what they need them to do. Now the best doctors that I've found are cash doctors only. The reason this is is because they are not restricted by the insurance companies or anything else. They don't have the man standing over their shoulder telling them what they can and can't do, what they can and can't prescribe. They're not pushing the newest medication out on the market that 
could very well be the worst thing that you've ever done or ever taken that could cause who knows what to happen to you. There's many drugs that they've put on the market that are not proven, that they've rushed them through and that are having dire consequences on the population, such as Prozac, such as Ambien, many, many other medications have had devastating effects on people. So, go to social media, Facebook, whatnot, talk to people. Talk to people who you know that have medical problems and ask them about their doctors, about who they think is a good doctor. Once you get a list of names, and don't just settle for one. Talk to as many people as you can. Um, like I said, some of the best doctors that I've found, I have learned about them from the guy sitting next to me while I'm waiting to get a prescription filled. Um, we have specialists now for everything. So, your family doctor or your primary care physician is the one to send you to all these specialists. You can't see a specialist without going to a primary care physician. So it is very important to get one now. Find a physical medicines doctor or a good family practitioner, a good family doctor. Make sure that when you find a list of doctors, call their offices, talk to them a little bit. See how quickly they can get you an appointment in. Um, get a feel over the phone to see how they treat you. If they, uh, you know, treat you good or not. Now, you're not going to get a lot of information about their procedures and what they do for people over the phone. There's way too many people that call up doctor's offices and say, hey, do you prescribe this or do you prescribe that? They're not going to give that information over the phone. They're going to tell you, no, we don't, we don't do that, and such and such. So that's not going to be um, a way that you're going to be able to be successful there. Once you find a list of doctors and you get an appointment set up, your family doctors or your basic physical medicines doctor, they should not be more than a hundred bucks to see this person. Okay? With insurance, you bring it down to 50, 30, whatever, whatever your insurance policy may be. If you have to pay cash, um, you know, find the cheapest one, obviously. Now, a lot of these doctors that are in these um, urgent care facilities, I have found some good doctors in these places. They're not expensive. And they seem to care, and they seem to be actually genuinely concerned about their patients. At least some of the ones that I've seen. Doctors in hospitals are going to treat you way different than the ones in private practice. And the reason is, when you're in the hospital, you're in a controlled environment, and they have way more freedom to do what they need to do, you know, to make you comfortable, to explore every area that needs to be explored. Some doctors will go the extra mile, some won't. 
doctors need to listen to their patients because you know better than the doctor does what's going on with you what's going on with your body so if you go and see a doctor and he really isn't listening to what you say but looking at your main complaint on the paper that you filled out and telling you what he thinks is going on and what the tests show him that's going on but he's still not listening to you that there could be many different things going on with you that's not going to be the doctor for you when you go to a doctor's appointment be aware of the staff if the staff is happy if they'll look you in the eye and talk to you and treat you like a human being like a person then it's probably a pretty decent doctor if you go in there and you look and see the staff with these blank expressions on their face and they really don't treat you that great and they kind of treat you like just a number that's not a good indication that means that they are not happy with the way this doctor is treating their patients and they feel guilty about it there's things that you need to know when going and talking to the doctor the first time if he looks you in the eye if he sits down and listens to you if he physically examines you and you know puts his hands on you if he touches you now there's some things you need to always carry your records with you if you are injured or have some kind of disease um, you should do your own research on your illness and bring some questions up to him always have three or four good questions for him doctors are people too so if you go into a doctor's office and throw 50 problems at him he's going to shut down and he's going to refer you to psychiatrist saying that you have psychosomatic overlay problems and uh, dismiss you as a nut so don't overwhelm him present him with your worst problem your main concern and uh, go from there and do a gut check see if they uh, you know see if they look at you and, and listen to you or if they just immediately jump on their computer and start pecking away at all these things that they need to do doctors report to bosses unless they have a private practice these big um, specialty doctors they have bosses who are not doctors they're businessmen a good friend of mine is a doctor he worked in some of these um, clinics he called it a doc in the box he told me that his boss told him that anyone who came in there who was on Medicare or Medicaid that complained about any kind of pain in the least degree to prescribe them the strongest most addictive narcotic that he could give them and the most amount of medication and muscle relaxers and Xanax and everything else so and he said he had to leave and and quit three of these different clinics because this was the policy of them so that there's bad things going on out there so be careful when looking for a good doctor and don't give up your search because they are out there I hope everyone's having a good day this is doc talk about finding a good doctor over and out